Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and today I'm going to show you how distinct and top work together. So if you've ever come across a statement where you have both distinct and top in the same query, you may have wondered, you know, which one works first? You know, does, does the query go out and get the top rows and then from that get distinct values? Or does it go out and get distinct values and then once it gets those, then get top rows? So let's just do a quick query and see what we get back and then we'll kind of work backwards from there to see what's happening and then let me just explain after that how the order of operations of SQL works and, and then you'll get uh, the, it all kind of comes together. So when I do a distinct, you can see that it pulls back colors and I'm getting the no color, I'm getting black, blue, gray, and then multicolor. Okay, so if I take the stink away and just say bring me back the top five colors from product, what I get is null. So essentially the first five um, items that are ordered by color are null. If I do give me um, the distinct colors distinct colors you're gonna see that it's snow black blue gray multi and those were the first five that we had in our first example and then it continues on the red silver silver black white and yellow so based on this what's happening is is that when I have a the query select distinct top five color it is going out and pulling all the st distinct values like we see here and then based off that pulling in the top five as so okay and this is based off something called the SQL order of operations so let me show you what those order of operations are okay so here's the order of operations. And how this works is, is that when you put in an SQL statement, the SQL interpreter is going to go through the parser and it's going to look at the from statement. And then it works on join clauses and then the where clause, any group buys you have, you know, cubes and whatever, that stuff, then having, then the select statement, and then the distinct. Okay, so it's going to get, that's where it gets the distinct values. Then the order by and then finally the top so the top's literally the last thing that it goes through parses and then executes okay so that's the last thing in the order so from our perspective it's going to do the distinct then the top okay so this is actually a good thing to get to know this order of execution and there is a reference for it and i'll put it in the notes so you can go out and look at it because this not only helps with, you know, kind of weird looking stuff like distinct and top when they're put together, but when you're looking at wondering, like, why is it that when I alias a field and, um, and it, for some reason, um, I can't use it in my order by, or I'm, I alias the field, but it's not working in having. Well, it's because the alias is in select and that happens after the having. So the having has no idea that you alias the column name, right? And so it's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So the, the ordering really makes a difference and it can help you understand why things work the way they do. All right, so that's kind of a secondary lesson to all this. All right, so I hope this helped you out and helped you give you a little more insight to how SQL works. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to answer the question. Or better yet, come visit my blog at essentialsql.com, uh, read some of the articles, um, leave some comments, and join my email list and get engaged and love to uh, work with you. Take care, bye.